You're not failing enough. I know this title is going to confuse quite a lot of you. You're thinking to yourself, failing? I thought Ali was all about winning. Well, in order to attain success, you must fail again and again and again. It's natural. It's how things are supposed to be. Nobody starts something and is exceptional straight away. You are bad before you're good and good before you're great. And I've made a video before called the four stages of competence. You're not world class the day you start playing the piano. But after seven years of playing the piano and being quite bad at it, may I add, in the beginning. Terrible, embarrassing. There's probably a 12 year old kid right now, better than some of you guys and you're in your 30s at playing the piano. Because that kid has been playing it longer than you, even though he's only 12. So you might attend a place where they teach you how to play the piano and there's a kid next to you just beating you. Just casually, you know, pressing the buttons, looking away. And you're like, how the heck is this kid? He's been doing it longer than you. And you're gonna be crap in the beginning too. But then after a while, you're gonna pick things up. Just like driving a car, man. I remember when I used to do my driving lessons, I was stalling. I was driving a, uh, what was it? A BMW 1 Series or was it an Audi? It was an Audi A3. That was the car I was learning in. And I was stalling at the roundabouts. I was embarrassed at myself. I was like, oh, for God's sake, Ali, man. You're a bloody man and you can't drive this, this car. But, you know, eventually I figured it out, right? So it's normal to fail. And I don't even like using the word failure to describe the natural process of learning. Learning is a better word, right? Failure in my books is quitting. That's failure. Because when you quit, there is no chance of you winning. If you don't play the game, let's just say you're a footballer. If you're not selected to play, you will not score. You will not even have an attempt to prove to everybody how good you are. Okay? So, it's the same in anything that you pursue in life. If you don't take the shot, you will not score. If you've been doing something for quite some time and you're frustrated at yourself because you're not quite getting it, keep going, man. Some of us take a bit longer to learn things. Me being one of them. I need to look over my notes again and again and again to really pick it up. Some people, they just absorb information like a sponge. But I trust myself that in the long run, I'm just gonna be brilliant. I may need some time in the beginning to process everything and normally the way I do things is I just write them down again and again and again, right? But eventually, I'll be very fucking good because I know I know I will be. And my relationship with failure has changed. When I was 20, 21, 22, I used to get disappointed when I was rejected when it comes to uh, working with a potential business partner. And they reply and say, they're not interested. Or when I was doing telesales briefly, people would say, nah, 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 I'm not looking for that right now. I would, I would take it personally. I'd be like, shit, man, does that mean I'm a bad salesman? But no, that's just the way it works. It's a numbers game. Life is a numbers game. Some will say yes to you. Some will say no to you. That applies to pursuing a female, right? You're going to encounter some women that just don't want anything to do with you. They're not attracted to you. You're not their type. Some are going to be all over you. They can't get their hands off you. They find you extremely attractive, charismatic, okay? Same thing in business. Some people are gonna be like, nah, nah you're too expensive, right? And they're gonna make you doubt yourself. Hang on a second, maybe I've priced my business in the wrong way. But then someone else will be like, damn, you guys are cheap. And you're gonna be like, shit, <laughs> maybe I should have raised my bloody price. Okay, it's numbers, man. You go to the gym to seek failure, don't you? I hope so, at least. I hope you're not going there lifting something that's very easy for you. No, you need to progressively increase the weights, right?
so that the muscles get torn apart the fibers so they rebuild stronger than before bigger than before right so apply the mindset you have in the gym when it comes to building muscle to other areas of your life okay i've just started a youtube channel i'm probably not going to get many views in the beginning but that's okay <laughs> but you best believe i'm going to outwork every motherfucker out there that's the mindset you should have not, oh, but I've only got eight views. Eight, that's eight people that have decided to sit there and watch your eight minute video. Be grateful. Gratitude goes a long way. If you're exerting this negative energy out into the universe, yeah, you're not gonna attract success because you're doing it for the wrong reasons. If you're genuinely excited to turn the camera on and share your message, that excitement and passion can be felt through the screen. You can really feel it, man. You can resonate with the person that's talking on the video. And I'm sure many of you guys resonate with what I say. And you can definitely feel the passion because I fucking love making these videos. Because I know I was once 19 years old and I was confused and, and I thought my life was gonna be absolutely fucked because I didn't do well in my A-levels and you know, yeah, I've been there. So I'm, I'm aiming to serve you fellas out there who right now you're thinking, shit, my life ain't going to plan. And you don't even have to be young, even to you fellas out there that are older. I hope my videos provide you with a lot of value. I'm not saying I'm fucking perfect, but I've learned a few things over the years, which is why I have this channel. I want to share those things with you. The things that have helped me drastically, right? But now I see failure. If I'm not failing every day, then I'm not learning anything. I'm not getting better. If you only take one free kick a day, and let's just say you're a football player, you want to do well for your team, whatever, and you only take one free kick a day. Okay, you might score that free kick. But there's another guy out there who's taking 100 because he really wants to perfect his, his free kicks. He's probably going to be a better free kick taker than you because he's taken more shots. That's how Ronaldo used to be when he was uh, in Manchester United during his first tenure, right? Not the current one. But when he was a young teenage kid, he would stay after the main training session that they all had and he would be taking tons of free kicks because he wanted to become great at it. And for a while, he fucking was. Now, not so much. But back then, yes, he was banging them in in the Premier League almost every week okay his obsession was i want to be a brilliant free kick taker now his conversion rate with penalties through the roof the guy can score penalties better than anyone in the world in my personal opinion all right he's very efficient so i want you guys to go out there and fail more often man yeah who gives a fuck if your video gets eight views be grateful and keep posting the next one will get 10 the next one after that will get 50 and then, hey, the next one after that may get 400. And you're like, shit, that's amazing. And you got that 400 because you uploaded several. Now imagine you only uploaded one, you got eight views and you were like, oh man, this ain't gonna work out. And you throw in the fucking towel and you quit. That's why I said earlier, quitting is the ultimate failure. Not making a video and getting eight views. No, that's fine. You're supposed to upload quite a few bad videos before you get good at making videos before you get good at expressing yourself and you improve the lighting the microphone all of that takes time man right so it's a natural process it's a natural evolution that occurs even some of your favorite youtubers right now early on in their careers they were filming with their phones and we're not even talking about the 13 pro max we're talking seven eight years ago when phones were terrible in terms of you know video quality and audio right so things will get better with time but you're not going to get the 400 views the 1000 views the 10,000 views if you only upload one and then you get disappointed and you quit you're not going to lose weight the first day you go to the gym and you'll come back home and you'll look pretty much the fucking same right a week goes by you pretty much look the same but six months go by and you've been going every day or three to five times a day, which is what I recommend you guys do, especially if you're new to the gym. Go three to five times. Three to start off with. And then slowly increase the dates, right? But yeah, it takes six months to start seeing some real changes. Okay, maybe three months. 
but six months you can see some good progress, right? Same thing with your YouTube channel, same thing with pretty much anything, right? Give yourself the time and imagine where you're gonna be in six years if you dedicate six years of consistent effort. I mean, it's scary where you could be. I believe in each and every single one of you, man. I know some of you guys are extremely talented at what you do, but you beat yourself down and you're like, oh man, fuck's sake, man, I didn't get it. Or, you know, this guy didn't reply to me. I thought this piece of work was really good and he was gonna buy it off me. Or I know you guys produce music. Some of you produce clothes. Some of you have your own food business. Some of you sell IT solutions, social media marketing, whatever it is, man. And you thought you were about to secure a client, you didn't, it fell through, it's fine. Keep it moving, right? The next one, what's next? And you don't get better if you don't fail either. When I got into telesales, I was shit on the phone in the beginning. Uh, 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 no worries, I would give up so quick. Instead of saying, no, no, hang on, it's Gary in. Okay, who normally deals with these kind of, okay, it's not Gary, it's Mark. Okay, can I speak to Mark? That's how I was over time. But in the beginning, I was nervous. I just wanted to hang up. And then after a while, I was like, no, nah, I want this fucking sale, and I ain't giving up. Yeah, you know, I want to speak to the decision maker. And I had great tonality, but in the beginning, I was crap. I was stuttering. I was, you could barely hear me on the phone because how nervous I was, right? Same thing with my public speaking skills. In the beginning, hands in my pocket, looking down at the ground, staying in the same fucking position at the front of the room. After a while, I became a lot more charismatic. I was doing backflips on stage, okay? I wasn't actually doing backflips. So I was walking around the room. I was using my hands quite a lot. I was asking questions to the crowd. I would maintain eye contact with a few of them as I walked around the room. I would direct the question to one specific person, have a bit of an interaction with the crowd. I would have fun, I would crack jokes, and people were entertained. My tonality was excellent. But in the beginning, I wasn't good. But you know what I did? I kept on doing speeches, okay? In front of 10, 15, 20, 100, 200. And then there was one where I did a speech in front of 2,000 people. In fact, was it 2,000 or 3,000? I think it was 2,000, right? And that was a phenomenal moment. You know, where, you know, I remember walking to the stage, there was music playing and everything. I was like, damn, man, this is about to go down. But the moment I stepped foot on that stage, man, it didn't even intimidate me one bit because I knew this was an accumulation of all the previous experiences that I had. So I was going to smash it. I knew I was. Because statistically, I've done well. Because I kept showing up, I kept putting in a performance, right? That's how it's got to be, guys. Change your relationship with failure. It's not the end of the fucking world. You need to be failing more. If you're not failing a lot right now, the, the likelihood is you're not working hard. You're being cash. And by cash, for those of you that don't know, you're being casual. Okay? You're relaxed. You're goofing around. You're cuddling up with the missus, giving her a kiss on the forehead and watching Netflix, which is okay to do from time to time. But some of you guys have turned soft. You're not that fucking tough go-getter that you were in the beginning. When I say tough, I'm talking about you were like, fuck it, I'm coming for everything. You didn't have that, you don't have that aggression in you anymore. You post a video, it doesn't get many views. Oh no. And then you bitch to your woman for an hour. And she tells you, oh, you can do it. You can do it, love. And then you don't upload again for like three weeks because you're discouraged and you're sad about what happened. Oh. <laughs> now listen, you can take a break if you've earned it. If, you, if you've been uploading like a fucking dog every fucking day for months on end, good, take a break from time to time, right? But some of you guys get so sad because it didn't go viral. It wasn't the one. No man, keep it moving. Time does not wait for anybody. Six months from now, would you rather have 300 videos posted on your YouTube channel, potentially two or three of them going, going viral, viral? Or would you rather have a channel with no videos uploaded? You're still in the same fucking position. I remember when I started this channel, and look, I have 6,000 subscribers on this channel at this moment, and I'm extremely grateful for every single one of you that follow me and show support and comment. But I remember a, a time when I thought 1,000 was 
wow, a thousand was huge. And I never thought I'd get to a thousand in the speed that I did. But I started uploading consistently and boom, we smashed through a thousand and then two and then three and then four and then five and then six, damn. It was good to say. And now we're heading to seven, eight, nine and 10. Okay, and we're all gonna get there, God willing, very, very quickly because your boy's gonna be uploading mad content, right? So yeah, guys, change your relationship with failure. I want you to seek failure, keep failing. Keep learning, shall I say. I want to change it, that word to learning because it's a learning experience when you get rejected, right? I remember there was a saying in sales, which I learned from one of my mentors a few years ago. He says, every no builds you and every yes builds your business. So if you hear a no from a potential client, that builds you, your character, gives you tougher skin. Okay, cool. Maybe there was something you didn't quite get right in the pitching process. Maybe your tonality was shit. I mean, there's always something to learn. That's why I say it's a learning experience. It's not failing as such. Yes, you didn't technically close that client. So in a way, if we're speaking technically, it's a failure. But I don't like using that word. It's a learning experience. Failing for me is quitting. Saying, oh, I can't do this anymore. That's failing. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you brothers. Comes straight from here, straight from the heart. As you can see, no flashy edits, just your boy speaking to you one to one. From one brother to the next. Make sure you like and subscribe down below guys and I'll catch you beautiful people in the next one, peace.